Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome to the second bonus episode of Let's Play Metro Last Light. Today, we will be playing the Sniper Team mission. You can see we'll be playing as Red Soldiers, and we'll be infiltrating a Nazi base on the surface. Another raid against the Nazis. I have to clear out a Nazi outpost and infiltrate the Chernaya station. One of our scouts is coming with me this time, but he has a mission of his own. So we'll be working separately most of the time. And as you can expect from the name, we will be doing some sniping in this mission. I heard you're a great shot, so here's your chance to show off. It might be a piece of cake with a weapon like yours. I wish we had more of these babies. I'd give you some help, but I'm sure you'll handle it on your own. So for this level, we have a new gun, the Clapper, which is also the real-life VSK, I believe. It's uh, it's another 12.7 millimeter sniper rifle. I believe it's 12.7 by 55 in real life, but it uses the 108 ammo from the Prevd in this. It's a uh, it's pretty much a one hit kill except it is semi automatic unlike the Prevd. So apparently in real life it actually is bolt action so they just changed that. So unlike previous levels in this game, really unlike any levels in this game, this is a mandatory stealth mission. If the alarm goes off, we lose. What have we got here, I wonder? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, almost made us! Well, they're in position nevertheless. You've also Our got a... The objective is to get into the Chornaya station. In order to do that, you'll have to clear out the perimeter and enter the building. There, you make yourself busy with disposing of the guards, and I, in the meantime, complete my objective. We'll meet at the station entrance when we're done. So first, we better clear the roof and the towers, and then take care of the patrols. We've also got a customized low life with a silencer, but we're not going to use it too much. After all, this is a sniping mission. We also got two throwing knives, those will come in handy. Uh, for some reason, every time this guy gets killed, his knife just ends up floating here in the air. And that happens every time I've played this level. Anyhow, let's get to the sniping. Interestingly, this is also the same Nazi base that uh, Artyom saw in the first game, the outpost level. And it's quite a bit more built up now. Alright. So, we've got a whole bunch of guys here. You can see there's sniper towers, with groups of guys on the ground. I wish this thing had an adjustable zoom, because the zoom is a little too close to see. Hold it. Let's wait till they part ways. And this guy will give us some uh, advice. I actually had a, a bit of trouble when I first played this level, because it kept being like, I'd shoot somebody who's alone, and then the alarm would go off. There's actually a certain kind of order you have to kill these guys in, so that... Uh, your kills don't get discovered. First we want to take out the guy up on the roof as he can spot pretty much everyone else from there. Now there is an achievement for getting headshots that I still haven't gotten because uh, the first game kind of put me off headshots in Metro in stealth since uh, I'm always worried I'm gonna hit their helmet and everyone's gonna hear it. Also since we are firing from a distance here uh, there is actually bullet travel we have to worry about. So like... Then you're good! As well as bullet drop. Alright, so now that he's dead, we want to take out these towers. As they will also spot uh, our kills. I believe there's only the two of them we need to worry about, because that one's empty. Also, this guy can be tricky, because if you're standing in a certain spot, you don't even notice him. But there is another tower way to the left there. I can't shoot because there are guys in the way. Just gotta worry about our filters. We have 10 minutes, which is not too bad, and we'll pick up more. And pop this guy. 
All right, so that's our uh, our top guys. Now we just have to kill these isolated guys. One there. One there. One right next to him. They've got their attention. Now just don't let them get to the bell, or they'll start a general alarm. Okay, I'm gonna assume that nobody else saw that because everyone in this area should be dead, except these guys. Yeah, they don't look too alert, so I'm not too worried. Got one heavy squad guy. He, he's kind of looking around, but he's not too alarmed. Shit. Um, okay. So they're kind of close together. I don't really want to ki kill them unless I do it quickly. And as long as they don't get to that bell... I wonder if we can distract that guy. Wait, what? Oh, I got it. Try hitting that bell. I don't think I've ever gotten that uh, line there. I usually kill them. And that... That apparently didn't do anything? Except this guy's on alert now? I don't want to shoot him because this guy's a little too far down to hit. All that did is kind of spook him. Maybe I hit the pole and not the bell? Try that again. I don't know, it doesn't seem like it... it just puts them on alert? They're also slowly inching closer to the bell, which is gonna make it harder not to get caught. What the hell are you doing? Looks like we're done here. Don't worry, I got it covered. Now you got to get to that building. Also, you heard it there. When I hit that guy's head, it made the big old loud sound, which is why I don't go for headshots. Luckily, they've got a cable there that you can use. And I'll get this side in the meantime. Clear out the perimeter on your side and go in. It's probably chock full of Nazis, so you better be careful. Good luck. So, are the guys coming or what? How the hell am I supposed to know? And what's the rush anyway? What's the rush? A storm is coming. That's what. You know me. I've got to touch. All right. He's got so touch. since we're fighting our hated well, enemies, we have to clear out this building. Exploded. You know what? Ah, to hell with it. Let's go to our posts. Yes, sir. There's no sort of moral points or anything to worry about here. We can just freely kill these guys. And we can get a bunch more filters from these guys. Man, just by looking around. Unfortunately, we do not have any night vision goggles in this map, so it's going to be kind of dark. We also get medkits, but medkits are useless because, you know, we don't get a chance to get in a fight. If we get seen, it's over. Or rather, if we get seen enough to alert them.
Oh, you know what? I jumped ahead a bit. Uh, it's not that building we have to clear. I mean, there was only two guys in there, so I guess technically we did clear it, but... Alright. I believe this right here is actually one of the areas Artyom was in during the outpost level. And there would have been a, a tunnel down there that's now flooded. We got two armored guards there and one guy there. Again, I don't want to try to headshot him because I don't want his helmet to go clang. I'm fed up with Sophie here. Not a single mutant to ever go outside in this weather. So why do we have to freaking freeze here? It's me who's fed up. We're your wife. Oh, we also have to worry about the lightning, which will make us visible. You can see that cut off their conversation. Wireless forest never wide. By the way, where might it be? He should have been back by now. Where could he be? Somewhere around. Where else? Well, we still have to check on him. Well, you can do it. I'm miserable enough here. I believe Boris is the guy we shot. Oh wow, he's he's really going for it. It's gonna make him hard to hit. Oh, what? Now he's just sprinting into a wall, okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Got him. He almost tried to crawl away with a gaping bullet wound in his head. Alright, we didn't actually have to kill those guys. You can actually just walk past that one guy to the door, but, you know. When in Rome. Kill like the Romans do. Oh, there's the airlock there, I think. That leads to the metro. Which, uh, good thing it was closed, I guess, or the metro would have flooded. Another thing we have to worry about is trip mines, as they will explode and give us away. So it's basically an instant fail if you set one off. I don't know if this one would, because there's no one immediately near it. The storm's kicking up, and as you can tell from that Geiger counter, we want to get out of it. That radiation also makes us burn through our oxygen way faster. Oh, right, when you go up the ladder, I was like, I don't remember that happening that many times. Man, that was a fine throw. Where did you want to throw like that? Khan, is that you? Got sent to the guards right after he missed him. He did some training there, using mutants as targets. That was great fun. And the place was okay in general. So why did you quit? I got fired. There was a mass escape. All the guards on duty beat it. The guys and I were off duty in the barracks. When we heard the alarm and saw what those damn mutants did to the others. We just hit them apart. The higher ups just sent us to the front, regardless. Well, you know, this place isn't really bad. It's no bridge, after all. Okay, you just relax here and I'll go check the storage. Gotta know what we should order with the next caravan. Okay, just don't take too long. Our shift in soon. 
So that kind of gives away when this takes place. It is after Artyom and Pavel make their escape from the Nazi prison camp. And uh, the mutants he was talking about are the other prisoners that we released. We don't really want this guy to see this dead guy here. It's a good thing these throwing knives are so ridiculously sharp that they can just punch through their armor. Uh, we could have let the guy open this up, but uh, whatever. There's no like collectibles or anything in this DLC. Oh boy, a medkit. camera. Also, I'm not sure how silent this gun is, because I'm pretty sure I've fired it in this building and had other people hear the shot. Look, Yako, do you know anything about what's brewing? <laughs> what do you mean? Nothing's brewing here. The goddamn armpit of the world. Nah, not here. I mean, in general. Looks like a war to me. Ah, well, looks like we're gonna have another one with the Reds at the bridge. The truce is almost over. So, we're lucky we're here after all. Gordon is better than machine guns shooting at you. That's true. I thought it was mentioned in either the first game or the first book that nobody makes permanent outposts on the surface except for the rangers at that one Sparta base, but it has been a year since then, so maybe that has changed. Got some guards up there. We're not going to worry about them yet. This is the building, by the way, that we have to clear completely. So it's not just a... Oh, put that away. It's not just a regular stealth mission where we have to sneak through. Hey, what? What the? Oh shit! You didn't hear anything. Let's go down before we go up. Like here, here's just an example of a little bit of missing polish on these DLCs. There's just a weird hole here where the stairs are not quite attached to the wall. You know, it's not always major stuff, just little stuff that they didn't have time to notice, I guess. The Reds attacked our power station. Rumor has it we met ourselves a Red Spy, and we're going to hang him there. So those bitches sent the goddamn battalion to the rescue. And they pressed hard. So before our guys knew what happened, the Reds took their spy and ran for the catacombs. To the spiders. Dumb bastards. 
Then again, Führer does say all the Reds are retarded. There's no coming back from the spiders. Well, they just had nowhere else to go. Our guys came to and kicked some ass. So Reds just ran wherever the legs took them. Besides, they didn't know there were spiders. Well, those subhumans had it coming. Thanks for the good news. Ha! You're welcome. All right, carry on. And I'll go check up on Alex. Be my guest. They're, of course, talking about uh, Pavel being rescued by Artyom. And I guess they assume that a battalion rescued him and not just one person. supposed to check up on Alex, but all he checked up on was his death. I do like the sound this thing makes when you shoot the little uh, bullet shell ejection sound for larger bullets. Nobody in this room murder. Thankfully, there's nobody hiding in these locked rooms. We are picking up filters, but we're not picking up that much. You can see we've only got an extra 340 left. So we don't really want to dilly-dally here too much. You must be Alex. What's this? It also seems like having a base on the surface would be a tremendous waste and expenditure of filters, which presumably no one is still making. They're still using ones from before the war, I believe. Can I take his filter? No? Alright, I believe we have now cleared out this building. Based on that journal scribbling noise. I guess we can always check. Yep. Yeah. We just need to go down to the square. Which, counterintuitively, you get to from up on the roof. As there is another zip line. Now, when I originally played this, I just went down the zip line, uh, but I realize now that you can just snipe all these dudes instead of trying to sneak past them. I miss. Three for four isn't too bad. All right, now, there are quite a few guys down there still. Got two guys there. One wandering guy there. Another two guys there, and one guy there. Yep, oh, and one more guy wandering off over here. I wouldn't advise that, sir. Is that everybody? I hear somebody talking, but it's coming from behind us. I guess we'll find out in a second. But yeah, if you want a little bit of a sneaking challenge, you can actually just not kill any of these guys and try to slip by them to get to the station entrance.
and we've made it to the station. Ha! We're inside! All right now, let's give these Nazis some bruises to remember us by. Follow me! And that's all for Sniper Team. It's a, it's a decent little DLC. It's, you know, it's different from uh, some of the main game. A bit more stealth oriented than they really force you to do. And you do get to play with a neat sniper rifle. I mean, if it is just a, an instant kill, so it doesn't really matter where you hit anybody. But uh, yeah, that one was uh, a lot better received than Heavy Squad. Um, I guess we should probably do Shatria next. Uh, if I'm going kind of in order, well, you know, in order by packs, I guess. Also, I was wrong. There were four DLC releases. Uh, there was Heavy Squad, Shatria, and Sniper Team as one pack. The Tower Pack was by itself, and then Spider Layer and Developer Pack were together, and then the last three were the uh, Character Pack. So, uh, that's it for the second bonus episode. Uh, next time, it will be uh, something different. In one of my favorite sort of levels. Until then, you folks all take care. <laughs>